Welcome to the demo of the Keyword Research Module for Drupal. My name is Tom McCracken, and I'm going to show you how the Keyword Research Module can help your Drupal site place better than search engines. Keywords are at the start of search engine optimization, or SEO. The key in keyword research is to focus your site around a quality set of targeted keywords. And we do this by looking at three important factors. What keywords are relevant to your website? What is the most popular searches? What are people actually searching for and how often are they searching on uh, search engines like Google? What are the least competitive keywords? In other words, what things can we rank for the easiest? Once you have, once you analyze these factors, and you come up with a good list of keywords, then you want to have your content authors write around these targeted keyword phrases, focusing on the highest priorities. Then you want to focus the pages or nodes around a targeted set, a targeted keyword set. Generally, you want to look to only have one to two root keywords per page. Add long tail modifiers. And what I mean by long tail is, let's say, for example, that you had the keyword phrase mountain bike. Well, you might want to put the word best or top uh, in front of it. And in the end, you might want to have something like parts or frame or some, something along those lines to long tail out these keywords and get more targeted, uh, less competitive keyword phrases. And then, of course, you want to pick keywords that are going to maximize traffic. In the old days, there were different ways of doing this, but generally involved a lot of cobbling together of uh, spreadsheets, emailing them around to different people, and hoping people actually used them. In reality, most of the time, these, these documents got neglected. They weren't put together all that, all that well, and they weren't disseminated properly. So the idea of the Keyword Research Module is to bring this all into Drupal to make this a lot more uh, transparent and to create a, a docu create a set of keywords that's actually better maintained. The keyword research module actually consists of three components. The first one is a stat is a research stats system that basically allows you to look at the popularity um, and competitiveness of various keyword phrases. Also, it'll help you long tail out keywords and research different types of modifiers. The second part is a list that actually helps you manage what are the most important keywords that your website should be focused on. The third part is helping you out with your page keywords, basically managing what are the important keywords that I should focus my page around. And of course, as you're working on your pages, some of that information will feed back and help you generate more around your, uh, your site keyword list. How does, the, how does this system actually work? Well, the first thing it's doing is it's bringing all this data that generally sits on these third parties and bringing it all into Drupal. Some of it it does live through APIs. So, for example, Word Tracker um, and Scribe SEO are two services that are built into uh, that are built in the Keyword Research module. Actually, the Scribe the Scribe API is built into the Scribe SEO module, um, and they can pull in data live from these other sources to give you things like keyword popularity. There's also some import features. Mainly, Google offers some great uh, some great. Uh, data that we'd like to use. Unfortunately, there's not an API for it, but we can import it and bring it into Drupal. There's other things that we can't import and we don't have APIs, so there, there's some links out to various different tools that help give you more intelligence about, uh, about what you're trying to research. So let's take a look at how all this works. Here we have an installation of Drupal that already has the Keyword Research Module installed. So we'll go to our first report, the Keyword Stats. And we just type whatever type of uh, whatever type of keyword that we might want to work with. So let's say, for example, we want to use the word bike. It goes out and fetches the data. So right now it's fetching data from Word Tracker, um, from uh, Scribe SEO, and then I've already imported some co some data from uh, Google. And what we see is we've come back with a list of all these different keywords related to bike. And so we see that bike is searched the most, bike's the next most. And then we see all these different long tail variants. Uh, coming down the page. We also see that we can, we've can we got some competition information and some bid information. Now this information is coming from the Google import. Um, the tool is actually a Google AdWords tool, so that's why it gives us bid information. We've also got links to other things that we can look at. So for example, if we want to look at search results in Google, um, we have uh, Google AdWords tool, Trends, um, Insight, uh, GoRank, and Trellian. And so these are just some of the other other pieces that we can just quickly link to and gather more intelligence about our keywords. Uh, the GoRank tool is interesting because it'll help you find variants. And then uh, Trellian is just another, another tool out there that you can get data from. Um, then if we want to, we can dig a little bit deeper. So for example, we see mountain bike. Well, we've got this little set of, we've got this set of Ajax tools. I can click this button and now I can dig deeper, uh, dig deeper and now I'm getting back words that are just dealing with mountain bikes. Or let's say, for example, I want to look up the word bicycle. 
So it's going to come back and give me information around the word bicycle. The other thing that's happening in the background is that the keyword research module is gathering all these queries and putting them into one master list. So later we can go back and look at things like uh, we can look at the search volume across all these different keyword entries. So for example, we can see, well, how much is bikes being used versus bicycles? And so that's how the statistics part, the statistics reporting of the keyword research module works. Once you've done your keyword research, then you want to start organizing your important keywords into a site-wide list of targeted keywords. So when the, the second component of the keyword research module allows you to create valuations for keywords. And so you can set a priority. So the keywords that are important, you might want to give anywhere from a standard priority to a high priority. You can also create value. Value means basically for every time someone clicks through to our website, what does a site owner think that might be worth uh, to them? This, of course, creates visibility so that there's now a list that whenever a content author wants to write a piece of content, they can look at and decide, oh, I want to write about this particular keyword because it's important. Also, while you're writing content, you can look at the keywords and you can look at the priorities and the values that's been set by the, by the person who's sort of administering the SEO campaign for that website. And the other thing that's really nice about this is that you can, this becomes a living document because it sits inside of Drupal that you can constantly be adding new keywords as you're writing content discovering new things. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we are back at the keyword stats report for the word bike. And these little pop-up tools here gives us an easy way to quickly add different keywords that we want to target for our site list. So let's say we want to target bike. And we see that we get a little Ajax response. If we want, we can quickly remove it by clicking on the same thing. But we want to keep the word bike in there. Bikes, uh, dirt bike. Now we come to mountain bike, that might be a pretty important word. So we can actually can put it as a higher priority. Dirt bike games, well, maybe that's not as important. Um, just add kind of a few more here. Uh, bikes for sale, shop, so forth. And then we run back over to our keyword lists. Now we've got an entire list of all the different keywords that we've looked at, and we get the same tools here. So best mountain bike, that sounds like a pretty good, pretty important word. And so we can add keywords here also. Uh, if, we want to set the, if we want to set the value, we can go ahead and say, okay, well, you know, if someone types that, that's worth $2 to me. Um, so we can go ahead and put that information in. The other thing we want to do is if we want to filter out some of all of our keywords, we can actually just adjust the priorities if we want um, to look at that information. Or we can just click this site keywords. And now we get only the things, only the keywords that we're actually targeting. And of course, this gives a pretty good list for uh, the content authors to go ahead and start writing content. The last component of the module is our page keyword management. Basically, what we're trying to do here is just tag, tag uh, pages with keywords, but adding a little bit more functionality than what you have in just regular taxonomies. So one thing that we're doing is that we, you can create a valuation. So you can, it works with taxonomy that you can tag a page, but you can also set if it's a high, low, a standard priority, and, and so forth. The other thing that we want is while we're editing, we want visibility so that as content authors are working on content, they can see the keywords they're working with. How important has the, main, has the person who's managing the SEO of the site or the site owner, how important do they think these keywords are? And then when everything's done, we want to look at how many different pieces of content, how many different nodes have we written about each individual keyword. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we are on a node edit page where I've been writing some content about mountain bike frames. Now I want to look at what types of keywords do I want to associate uh, this content with. And so I'm going to type in, uh, take a look at mountain bikes, and then take a look at mountain bike frames. And we see as the keyword research module has added in this field set down here, which can give us some extra reporting. So I click the refresh button, and it comes back with information about our two keywords. And we see that mountain bikes, that's a top priority for the website. So it's good that I've written a piece of content because no pages have been written about the word mountain bikes yet. Mountain bike frames is not necessarily a top priority. And there's some search for it, but maybe I want to look and do a little bit more long tailing. So I can click on the stats. And then we get a report that shows what are the different types of long tail terms people are associating with that phrase. I see, ooh, titanium. So I want to grab that keyword real quick, and maybe I'm going to add that in so I can long tail my, uh, I can long tail my term better. The other thing that I've done in this installation, I've added the, keyword, the uh, content analysis module along with the alchemy module, which is going to allow me to do some more sophisticated keyword research. Basically, the alchemy module will look at the content. So I've pasted some content in the body. It'll look at the content in the body, and it'll come back with a set of keywords that it thinks it's about. 
And so I might go through here and say, well, I haven't really thought through all my keywords yet just by brainstorming. And say, oh, well, we've got some, uh, we've got some content around downhill mountain biking. It's naturally my content. Maybe I want to learn a little bit more about uh, how many people are really searching for this type of content. Is it really a popular word? Well, there's a little bit of search for it, a little bit of interest in downhill mountain biking. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to uh, my list also. Some people are kind of interested in bikes for sale, free ride mountain bikes. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these keywords also since my content is already about some of these things. And then when I scroll back up, I see they've automatically been added to my taxonomy. And when I click Save, then those keywords are set, uh, are, are set associated with that piece of content. I can run back to my keyword research list and look at my page keywords. And now we'll see that I now have those keywords and how many pages are associated with each one. So this is a way that we can kind of look at how many pieces of content has been written for each particular type of keyword. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this demo of the keyword research module, and uh, hope you enjoy actually using the module, and it'll help you rank better in the search engines. Thanks for joining us.